Sperm cells, or spermatozoa, are the male reproductive cells responsible for delivering genetic material to the female egg during fertilization. Each sperm cell contains 23 chromosomes, half the number required to create a new human being. When a sperm cell successfully fertilizes an egg, which also contains 23 chromosomes, the resulting zygote has the full complement of 46 chromosomes necessary for human development. This process is fundamental to sexual reproduction and genetic diversity in our species. Sperm cells have a distinctive structure comprised of three main parts, the head, the midpiece, and the tail. The head, measuring about four or five micrometers in length, contains the nucleus with highly condensed chromatin, carrying the genetic material. At the interior portion of the head is the acrosome, a specialized organelle containing enzymes crucial for penetrating the egg's outer layers during fertilization. The midpiece, connecting the head to the tail, is approximately 7-8 micrometers long and houses mitochondria arranged in a helical pattern. These mitochondria are essential for producing adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the energy currency that powers the sperm's motility. The tail, or flagellum, measures about 50 micrometers in length and is responsible for propelling the sperm. It consists of a central exonem, surrounded by outer dense fibers and a fibrous sheath, all working in concert to generate the characteristic whip-like motion. Spermatogenesis occurs in the seminiferous tubules of the testes, a process that takes approximately 64 days in humans. It begins with spermatogonial stem cells, which undergo mitotic division to produce primary spermatocytes. D cells then enter meiosis, a specialized cell division that reduces the chromosome number by half, resulting in haploid secondary spermatocytes and eventually spermatids. The final stage of spermatogenesis, known as spermiogenesis, involves the transformation of round spermatids into elongated, mature spermatozoa. This process includes the formation of the acrosome, condensing of nuclear material, development of the flagellum, and the elimination of excess cytoplasm. Serotoli cells within the seminiferous tubules provide nutritional and structural support throughout this process, while lytic cells in the interstitial space produce testosterone, which is crucial for sperm production. After spermatogenesis, immature sperm cells enter the epididymis, a highly coiled tube where they undergo maturation over several days. During ejaculation, Sperm mixed with seminal fluid, produced by accessory glands, forming semen. This fluid provides nutrients and buffers to protect sperm as they journey through the female reproductive tract. Sperm must then navigate through the cervix, uterus, and fallopian tubes, a process that can take several hours to days. Throughout this journey, sperm undergo capacitation, a series of physiological changes that prepare them for fertilization. Only a small fraction of the millions of sperm released during ejaculation will reach the vicinity of the egg, and typically only one will successfully fertilize it. The sperm's DNA is tightly packed with protamines, creating a compact chromatin structure. The acrosome contains essential enzymes for penetrating the egg's outer layers. The flagellum's 9 plus 2 microtubule structure, along with motor proteins, enable its characteristic beating motion. Mitochondria in the midpiece optimize ATP production for sperm motility. The sperm membrane contains specific proteins for egg recognition and fusion.